What's up guys, my name is Boostreams and welcome back to another Tower Fantasy video. Today I'm going to be teaching you the number one most important aspect of combat in the game, and that is how to dodge. I know dodging seems janky to a lot of people, but I'm going to show you how to dodge perfectly every single time. So let's go ahead and find some enemies here. So the indicator for when to dodge, and a lot of people don't know this just because it's not super explanatory from the game, is this red horizontal line you're going to see when an enemy's about to attack. So let's wait for that red line. So there's the line. And then we dodged right when we found that line. And then we can switch in and do our skills and whatever and take these guys out. Okay, let's go ahead and find a different enemy just to prove that this is actually how it works. And this red line is gonna be present with any enemy you're ever gonna run into in the game, including bosses and whatever. So yeah, let's just go to these guys, these aberrants. Let's see if we can get one to attack us. There's that red line, and then we dodge. And if you don't believe me, let's go for another enemy. Let's look at this Razor Elite, for example. All right. There's the red line, and then we dodge during the red line. So why is dodging so important, you may ask? The reason dodging is important is, yes, of course, avoiding attacks so you don't get hit, but also because every weapon has its own unique dodging ability. So let's take a look at Shiro's Chakram of the Seas, for example. Every weapon in Tower of Fantasy has a normal dodge, skill, and discharge abilities. And for dodge, when you perfect dodge, like what you saw that I did when it triggers kind of that purple dome around you, that's called a Fantasia. So for example, with Chakram of the Seas, when you dodge before getting hit to trigger a Fantasia, you reduce the speed of enemies within an area and then become immune to hit stun for 0.5 seconds while dodging. And then after you dodge, if you tap normal attack, you can do a lot of other cool things. Now the same thing goes for pretty much any other weapon. You see, we have Nemesis's dodge skills, even Absolute Zero, who's a healer. This is your dodge bar in the bottom right, these three blue lines. So if you dodge once, you see that blue line goes down. If you dodge twice, then you have two, and it kind of charges up on its own. So in summation, you'll just want to have at least one of these blue lines left whenever you're in combat. So try not to dodge too much when you're not actually seeing that horizontal line first and trigger the Fantasia. All right, well, that's it. I know this was a short video, but I hope this was helpful. This was like the most helpful tip, the most game-changing tip forever for me. So if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. It's the best way to support my channel. And yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.